All right, we're going to demonstrate how to load surgical guides into the Preform software. Obviously, open the Preform software. As you do, you will make sure that the right printer is selected and the right ink. In this case, we have the wonderful Viper. We'll hit click Apply. Now we will open a STL file. In this case, we will find our patient's folder and load the surgical guide that we had made from before. Now we'll position it to where we'd like to print the model in the Preform or Form Labs 2 printer. And we'll add the other surgical guide that we had prepared. That when you position it, we want the non-tooth contact side up. That way you don't have any impingement on seating over the teeth. Um, so there you go, we position that. Again, load the other ones that we would need. Once they're all loaded, we will generate supports. It'll take a few minutes to do that. Once we do, I'll turn it over and look on the underside and edit any of the supports so they don't impede or impinge on where the keys of the drills need to go or the sleeves. Um, so you just click on the dot, it'll disappear. You click on a spot that doesn't have a dot and it'll reappear. And you will see also if changing the supports will be inadequate for the print as the areas will turn red. Um, and you'll see we just keep moving them around until we feel they will not be in the way of our drilling process. I just personally like to move them out of all the internal surfaces of the hole and as many as I can off the platform of the guide. So there you go, we just click and put new ones on, trying to still support adequately those areas. I'll see there's a little red there, we'll get rid of that red. There you go. Once we're done with this, we'll check to see if the guide is printable. Actually, the software does it by itself. Well, you'll see there's some pink there. We're trying to get rid of that pink. There you go. Now the pink is gone, and that is printable. The last guide in this case is that third guide, and we'll be removing any of the supports that are in the way of where our drill will go and the handpiece. one you just don't want those um, build platform supports to be in the way of seating the guide or the drill and sleeves you'll need to properly perform the surgery once it's ready you apply the support edits and now the the preform software will be thinking and calculating to see if it is adequate it says it's not adequate um, but we saw there's no red. So we will upload the job to the printer. It'll load and then obviously when you're done loading it, you'll have to go to the printer. Make sure everything's ready. Click start and watch and make sure the printer starts completely.